Hello and welcome to Best Belunker Reviews. My name's Jason. This morning you join me on what is a beautiful but rather cold morning and I thought I'd take this opportunity to just stop and, and talk a while, for a while. Um, been interrupted there. Um, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to do stop and, and talk a little bit about um, selecting binoculars for precisely these conditions. Now the first thing to keep in mind is that you're going to be wearing gloves. Uh, now the thickness of your gloves will obviously depend on exactly how cold it is but just as a word of advice is always try and pick gloves that are as thin as you can get away with. Um, the next thing to keep in mind is, is um, the type of gloves. Um, these gloves that I'm wearing today um, are actually cycling gloves but they have a, a nice um, a leather padding on the bottom which um, provides for a, which gives you a, me a really nice grippy surface and actually still gives me a quite a lot of feeling um, when I'm using you know using instruments okay so the next thing we're going to talk about will be obviously the binoculars try and select a binocular that's you know I, I like to pick a binocular um, a full-size binocular something that gives you a lot of um, surface area and and you know plenty uh, you know, plenty to hold on to basically the next thing is to just keep in mind is the design. You know, if um, uh, some some designs actually are just work, um, especially with gloves on, just that little bit better. For example, these um, Vanguard binoculars have an, an open bridge design, which has become really popular these days. Uh, but you also do get some which only have a single bridge um, right near to to the eyepieces. Um, what what this does is it frees up a lot of um, area on the on the actual barrels themselves to give you. Um, a lot of area to hold on to it just makes that grip just that little bit better um, and you get more feeling and, and you know be able to manipulate the device better when you're wearing gloves the next thing we should look at um, is is the focusing wheel itself so this is the part of the binocular that you're going to be changing and moving the most whilst you're out there so try and find one that's it's got a really nice big focusing wheel um, and, and on top of that like these vanguards over here they have a, a really grippy surface this one actually has a, a rubber track on it, um, which combined with the, the, the texture of the leather of my gloves, you know, really gives me a nice feeling, and as much grip and, uh, as I would have pretty much without any gloves on at all. Um, the last thing to sort of keep in mind is, whilst the, the focus wing wheel is big, grippy, um, if you have a look at the profile over here, it, it sticks out quite a long way from the top of the binocular. You know, this just makes uh, reaching it and moving it with, with you know, the, with the bottom part of your finger or the hand just that much easier. You know, you can imagine if I was wearing really thick gloves, um, if, if it wasn't, um, then it would just be that much more difficult to move. Um, actually, I have um, a pair of um, compacts, Steiner compacts over here. Um, and whilst these are fantastic, and the fact that, as you can see, I just keep them in my jacket pocket, um, they're a far smaller device. Um, with gloves on, they just become a little bit fiddly. Um, again, I'm, I've got quite light gloves on, but if you had really big gloves, you know, your parts of your gloves could actually go over the front of the, the lenses. You know. The next thing to just have a look at with these and, and compare them to a full-size binocular would be the fact that you can see that the um, focusing wheel um, is really small and only sticks out the top of the binocular, you know, a small bit. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm still able to turn that fairly easily. Um, with these gloves on, but I show you. I've actually bought another pair of gloves with me over here. Um, these gloves are a bit bigger, a lot warmer, but as you can see, are very smooth on the on the on the base of them, and I have a lot less feeling um, when using, you know, with my fingers. So if if I actually right now when I'm, I'm turning the the um, the focusing wheel on the top of these, um, my finger is actually sliding quite a lot, and, and I only get to turn, you know, as half as much as probably as I want to. So, you know, you can still obviously, you know, rather rather use this combination than nothing at all. But at the same time, if you if you just want to get things, you know, exactly right, um, these are just a few little ideas and thoughts that I, that I hope it help you to enjoy your early morning walks in the winter. Thank you very much.